Hi everyone, Kat Lewis here. I have a nice variety of beginner-friendly entry-level remote jobs. Now I have quite a few we're going to go over, so I'm just going to go over the highlights of each one. And I hope you stick through to the end of this video because one of these beginner-friendly jobs just might be the right one for you. So the first beginner-friendly job we have comes to us from Ferguson and they provide plumbing and HVAC supplies. Right now they're looking for an enterprise data operator and this job was just posted three days ago so it is still active. It's a full-time remote position and you'll be doing quite a bit of data entry. You'll add new customers and update existing customers into the customer master file. You'll also translate and manipulate data provided in projects in a timely and accurate manner and identifying correct errors to meet Ferguson's high standard of quality. So you'll be using Excel and adding new customers to the database while organizing and keeping all programs and software up to date. You'll need to communicate well with others within and outside your job area. You need to be a good problem solver and be able to pay attention to detail. You need to have the ability to work within provided instruction and time constraints. You need the willingness to learn new processes. You need to be an effective communicator. You have the capacity to learn and retain information. You're comfortable communicating with individuals via video, chat, email, or phone, and you must be able to work in a fast-paced environment. And all you need is a high school diploma or a GED, and they prefer you have one or more years of relative experience or training. That's just preferred, it's not required. So benefits come with this position. It looks like your standard suite of benefits, and they will pay between $18.11 and $28.91 per hour. The second beginner-friendly entry-level work-from-home job I have comes to us from Local Splash, and they are a search engine optimization company. I've never heard of them before, so I wanted to check them out. So I turned to their profile on Glassdoor, and they've been around since 2004. They're a mid-sized company, and current and former employees give them a 3.9 out of a 5-star rating as far as a good company to work for. Today they're looking for a customer service representative. This is a full-time remote position, but you must be able to work Monday through Friday from 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Now you don't have to live in that time zone, you just have to be able to translate your local hours to the Pacific Standard Time Zone hours. In this role, you'll act as the liaison between local Splash and their clients. You'll be taking inbound calls and emails and proactively assisting clients with all account matters, and those matters might include issues with orders, errors, account questions, billing cancellations, and other queries. So in addition to responding to voice and emails, you'll be doing some data entry, track metrics and data, and escalate any issues that you're not able to resolve. You need to be able to type 30 to 50 words per minute. They'd like you to have some sales experience or at least have the ability to do sales. And they'd also like you to have some customer support experience. Now the sales and customer support, they kind of go hand in hand. Think about whatever kind of job you had in the past. Did you ever work in retail? That's definitely sales and it's customer support. You need excellent communication skills and they'd like you to have advanced computer skills, such as advanced knowledge in Excel and probably even Word. And if you're comfortable using the internet, that qualifies too. You need to be dependable and you need a high school diploma or a GED. So no degree needed for this job. They prefer your Google Ads certified. They also prefer you have advanced knowledge of SEO. They prefer you have a background in quality control. They also prefer you have basic knowledge of Google Docs and spreadsheets. They prefer you have Google Ads knowledge in a background. And they prefer your bilingual in English and Spanish. Now all of those are just preferred, they're not required. Unfortunately, they don't tell us how much they'll pay for this job. And based on my experience and my research, it looks like entry-level customer service representatives could earn anywhere from about $16 to $18 per hour. Now, there's absolutely no way I can guarantee that's how much you'll make. You'll have to work that out when negotiating your salary with them. Another beginner-friendly work-from-home job I have comes to us from Rody, and Rody is the gig brand of UPS. But don't worry, you're not going to be part of the gig environment. You're going to be an actual employee of Rody. The job I'm talking about is for a trust and safety specialist. This is a full-time remote position for anyone located anywhere within the United States. In this role, you'll identify, thoroughly investigate, and resolve fraudulent related issues on the Rody platform. You'll identify procedural gaps, manage critical and high-risk situations, adjudicate user-consumer reports while adhering to geographic compliance and regulations. You'll also validate the authenticity of user identification, adhere to legal and risk-related policies and procedures, investigate, audit, and make decisions on gig-related claims, research industry standards and best practices to improve internal processes. You'll reduce company losses by assessing internal and external liabilities, and partner with law enforcement as needed when managing ongoing investigations. 
So that might sound like a lot of responsibilities, but they're not asking for a whole lot of experience for all that. However, they would like you to have at least one year experience in a customer or technical support role. They'd also like you to have at least one year experience in compliance or operations related role. You need exceptional verbal and written communication skills. You have a knack for problem solving. You're proficient in Salesforce and other CRM systems. You can demonstrate the ability to execute consistently with high attention to detail, accuracy, and adherence to detailed and complex procedural requirements. And you're able to thrive in a fast-paced and agile environment. They'll give you a nice suite of benefits to include a monthly work-from-home stipend and a flexible work schedule, but unfortunately, they don't tell us how much they'll pay. So I turn to their profile on Glassdoor and trust and safety specialists tend to make between $52,000 all the way up to $89,000 per year. So that's anywhere from $25 to $42 per hour. So that's really good for a job that doesn't require a whole lot of experience. I have another beginner friendly job with Rody, and this is for a customer support specialist. And again, this is a full time remote position, but in this one, you might be asked to work evenings and weekends. In this role, you'll provide phone, email, and text-based support to Rody customers, partners, users, and other community members. You'll address all customer concerns, proactively monitor in-progress deliveries, and take corrective action when necessary. You'll also manage non-standard delivery situations, effectively use Salesforce and other internal tools to accurately log interactions and solve issues, and collaborate with team members from various Rody departments to ensure a seamless delivery experience. They'd like you to have a combination of sales or customer service experience, preferably with a technology or logistics company. You need strong written and verbal communication skills. You need to be able to quickly and efficiently problem solve and troubleshoot. You're comfortable in a fast paced, constantly changing environment. You're proactive and you must have the ability to work a schedule comprised of non-standard shifts, including evenings and weekends. And it's a plus if you're fluent in Spanish. And just like the previous roadie position, they'll give you a nice suite of benefits, including a monthly work from home stipend. However, they don't tell us how much they'll pay for this job. But their Glassdoor profile tells us that Rody pays customer support specialists between $39,000 and $53,000 per year. That comes to between $19 and $25 per hour, and that is based on five salaries submitted by current and former employees. The final beginner-friendly job I have comes to us from Belay, and they are a virtual assistant company. Today they're looking for a virtual bookkeeper. They'll pay $25 per hour. However, this is a 1099 position. You're not an actual employee of Belay, so you'll be responsible for your own tax withholding. And they will hire anybody in any state in the USA with the exception of California, Montana, New Jersey, New York, and Pennsylvania. If you live in any other state besides those, you're good to go. So in this job, you'll be doing everything related to bookkeeping. You'll pay clients' bills on a weekly basis, do bank statement reconciliation, budget and cash flow management. You'll do journal entries, a lot of data entry, and you'll create all the weekly and monthly balance sheet, P&L, budget versus actual statements, and do other reports as needed. You'll also maintain and manage the chart of accounts, do debit and credit card reconciliation, 1099 prep. You'll process payroll, do tax filing and e-commerce support. All you need is experience in accounting and or bookkeeping. They prefer you have a bachelor's degree, but it's not required. They'd like you to have payroll experience as well as in-depth understanding of QuickBooks. They'd like you to have a computer with a webcam, smartphone with email capabilities and push notifications. You also need high-speed internet access and QuickBooks online. So a little side note here, if you're not too familiar with QuickBooks, I'll put a resource in the description below this video. All right, there you go. A nice variety of beginner-friendly entry-level remote jobs and a couple of them don't require any experience at all. So when you're ready to apply for one of these jobs, check out the links in the description below this video. They'll take you directly to these job leads. And good luck to all of you who apply. And as always, thank you so much for popping in and I'll talk to you again soon.